Hi guys, I got a new video for you today. This is on my Droid Bionic and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install Speedlight AOKP um, which was updated in December but uh, I'm going to kind of show it to you. So I'm going to get into some prerequisites. So first of all, Droid Bionic like I said uh, and you're going to be running right here about phone. You should be running Android version 4.04 .04, which is uh, ice cream sandwich and your system version should be 6.7.246 so if you have those things and uh, you have root access with super user right here and then you want to have safe strap installed this is a recovery system you can use safe strap 3.05 but the newest one is 3.11 which is what I have here or 3.11 and it is installed that being said um, let's go ahead and reboot and I'll show you guys the install procedure on this thing so we're gonna power off the device and get into install procedure always remember battery up here you wanna make sure you have at least 80 percent battery before flashing anything to your phone would not be good to die on you in the middle of a flash um, so let's go ahead and reboot the device power on you're gonna see the uh, safe strap splash screen again safe strap is based on twerp recovery system or team win recovery project and we're gonna hit it now you can see it says disabled right here um, that is because we are running stock there um, and this is gonna go ahead and you'll see when we reboot it after we flash this thing we're gonna be running a custom ROM and it will be green. So first thing you want to do if you haven't already made a backup of your stock system just go ahead and do that right now. You can see it's in red up here and we are on stock ROM slot. Um, go ahead and hit backup and then flash or swipe that to do a backup. Um, I'm not going to do that right now myself but we're going to go ahead and go in here and I have a couple ROMs in here as you can see I have kill ROM, synergy, I'm going to go ahead and replace this one, so I'm going to activate it. And then I'm going to go back in, I'm going to set nick nickname. And we're going to call this thing Speedlight. So we're going to type that in here, just so I know what it is. If I can type. Alright, and then hit go. And we can go back. Now it's called Speedlight, and you can see we are activated on that ROM slot right here. So we're going to go back. We're going to go ahead and go into wipes and we're going to wipe cache, back, Delvic, back, factory set, back, system, back, back again, and then we're going to go to installs, and we're going to find this uh, ROM, and uh, I think we got to go up one level here too far go to jelly bean and it should be right here speed light select it make sure it's listed right there which it is and we're going to flash it so I'm gonna pause right here while this thing uh, flashes and uh, I'll come back to you as soon as it's done alright guys there you go we have just flashed speed light AOKP uh, it is finished and we're just gonna go ahead and reboot I don't think you need any Google applications or gaps on this one so we'll just see what happens when I reboot so just go ahead and hit reboot here and the uh, system should start over and you should have the green splash screen now because you're running a ROM slot or a, a safe system with safe strap here. If you guys don't know how to get to this point go ahead and watch some of my videos um, and uh, I should have a video on root routing your uh, ice cream sandwich version bionic or installing safe strap and custom ROMs and all that just uh, check out my YouTube channel and you'll see all that good stuff on there so here is the boot animation on it which is uh, actually for the Nexus that's the Nexus 7 boot animation right there pretty sweet uh, I'm gonna let this thing load go through some setup and then I'll show it to you Alright, here we go. There is Speedster all booted up. So let's kind of check this thing out here, show you it to you. Um, here we go. We got some toggles up top, up up there. That's pretty sweet. So let's go into settings. 
Um, go down to about phone, and this is uh, Jelly Bean, so it's Android version 4.1.2, um, which is pretty nice. Again, build number is Speedlight AOKP 2.5.1. Um, so let's see what we got here in settings. Those are your standard settings, standard, standard. Okay, here's your different stuff. So you have DSP Manager, um, which is built in here, which is very nice for some audio settings. You have CPU Control, which is no frills CPU. I'm going to give that super user permission. And right here you can change your clock speeds, uh, Mac, min max, your governors, your schedulers, all that, and you can apply it all on boot which is very nice. AOP controls. Oh yeah, here's where it gets, uh, it can get fun. Oh yeah, you got all kinds of goodies here. Let's go to clock really quick. Let me just show you. We can do like clock style. We can do center. Moves your clock to the center of the, of the screen up top, which is kind of nice. I always like that. Um, you know, you got sound, weather stuff, vibration stuff, performance. Let's check out performance tools if we can get into it here. gonna allow it alright so here's some more CPU stuff you can do again all your governors um, you have some voltage stuff or kernel stuff here's your free memory set of boot some different little uh, settings there as well so that that's pretty cool let's go ahead and back out of that and let's see what else we got here battery um, I always change this so battery icon we're gonna go with circle mod changes your battery up there in the top and let's see what else we got power menu screenshots I like that in my power menu so I'll put that in there uh, power menu is for this right here I'll show you your options right here so now you have screenshot option for taking a screenshot that's what that's for um, let's see what else we got here general UI Custom boot animation, disable boot animation for faster booting, custom carrier, notification stuff, um, enable kill all button, that's interesting, some LCD density settings, uh, not a whole bunch of stuff, I, I love ROMs with settings, I love them. Uh, here's some uh, stuff here, enable bar, Let's see what this is. That's interesting. Oh, okay, so now you have this little bar on the bottom of your screen here with your buttons. So if you don't want to use your hard buttons, you have those buttons. Uh, that's what that is for. We can disable that again. It takes up too much real estate on my screen. But you have options for it. So you got that, and then you have themes, of course. Um, this is the stock theme on here. But you can uh, get a whole bunch of these off the market and totally change up the look of your device very easily, which is very cool. Um, so there you go, that's what's on here. Let's go look in your app drawer and see what they have in there. Uh, looks like, okay, we have Addaway. You have Bluetooth right up there, that's a nice little CPU sleeper. Um, your SciGen Mod file browser right there, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Tweakers, not sure, Project Lens, I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to look at it, but Super User right there. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is some advanced settings in here for your device. I have to play with this myself. I've not used this application. Pretty pretty cool. I'll definitely be looking into this a little more. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is what we have here for um, Speedster Lite on the Droid Bionic. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Check out my... Uh, New web page right here, doing a lot of work on there, lots of updating. Twitter right here, and of course down below is Facebook. Follow me however you want. Uh, I do enjoy hearing from you guys, and as always, have a good time, and we'll catch you later.